Okay, we're at, is less is right about that time, okay, um, we'll give a few seconds uh, before we get started, okay, Meg, Meg, how's it going, Sabrina, what's up, okay, we got Anthony, we got Brandon, we got Frank, Karen, what's going on? Uh, before we get started, can you guys hear me clearly? Um, just give me a thumbs up or anything like that, I'm sure. That, uh, okay. Let's see. Okay, so I think that is a good thing. I think the hand is a good thing. I think that's a means you can hear me. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna get started. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Okay, my name is Donovan. Um, and my Liebert Fitness Master Trainer. I'm also a personal trainer, been doing it, being in the industry for over 30 years. You can tell by the gray on my face. Um, I'm also part owner of Liebert Fitness Nation. Um, this is the facility you're looking at. We're just looking at one part of this. Um, this is the home of the Equalizer. Um, this is where we do at Libra Fitness. We do a lot of our equipment testing. Um, we run boot camps here, about four to five boot camps per day. Um, and we use, these, uh, we use the equipment exclusively um, because it's Libra Fitness. Um, as long, I, we also have other things that we work with also. We don't just use that, but um, we use dumbbells. We use um, any, any type of free weight. Uh, a lot of different conditioning that we do, but our whole philosophy is pretty simple. Um, we believe you get better results by training in a group than you do on your own. And some of you might agree on that part. Okay. Morning from snowy Colorado. Woo! Yeah. Um, so I'm in Toronto here. Toronto, Canada is cold, but surprisingly, we don't have any snow right now. Um, but that, that, I'm not sure that's going to change soon. Um, so uh, a lot of people aren't happy about not being able to ski. And so far, I'm Jamaican. I don't do that stuff. So we will move on from there. Okay. So we're gonna. Uh, at any point in time, you want to ask some questions. I'll take. I'll I'll pause and and uh, and try to answer some of the questions. Um, but today is all about how do you structure a body weight workout. Okay. Um, so. First things first, um, because I've been in the industry for forever, um, I have uh, I've trained literally thousands of people. Um, one thing that I've always held true, okay, is that there's not there's never one way to do something. So, for example, if you have a trainer, if you ever anybody tells you um, there's only one way to do it, like this is the app, the only way you should train or whatever, those are people you do not want to listen to, okay? Um, as we are individually different. Um, our body reacts differently to different types of training, um, different types of stimulation. Sometimes even after uh, six to eight weeks, we need to change things up. We need to shock the system and so forth, okay? Um, just something just to keep in mind. So what I'm showing you today, okay, is just one example of how you can structure your body weight workout. Um, there is hundreds of different ways to do it. And, and trust me, I've experienced them pretty much all, okay? so. But before we get started, before I show you what I think is one of the better ways to get things started is the first question you have to ask yourself and I always ask my clients, what are you training for? What is the reason that you need to structure this workout? Um, are you a beginner? Um, you just have no idea of how to do things and you're just trying to get an idea of how to get started. Um, by the way, this is going to be a basic beginner kind of a, uh, a workout. 
Um, two, is this for maybe for athletic performance? Um, or you, maybe you're doing this because you want to get stronger. Um, these are things that you need to ask yourself before you start any program. Don't just show up and say, I'm going to work out. Why are you working out? Either you want to lose weight, um, work on your conditioning. There's a variety of reasons for doing it. Aesthetically, you just want to change your body. Always the things that you need to start off, start off with. Um, we already talked about there's more than one way to train. Um, and then in regards to doing body weight training, um, this is extremely important because um, for some exercises, some of you might be accustomed to doing these exercises. So they take a lot of reps in regards to see results from it. So you should always train to failure, especially when we're talking about body weight stuff, if you want to see uh, a, a dramatic change in your body. Um, and when you're at home or anything like that and you're using weights and so forth like that, you may have certain set ranges that you're working with, but the reality is, is that even with those, if I'm working for eight reps, eight to 10 reps, or I'm working for 20 to 25 reps, I should still go to failure because that's how pretty much basically put down, that's how your body knows, okay, that person needs to get stronger. We need to break down and repair and make that person stronger. So that's how that works, okay? Um, what else we got? Okay, Meg says she wants to regain muscle tone after an injury. Exactly, so there we go. That's a good way to go. I'm um, starting off with body weight and then you can build from there. Um, so, and last but not least, okay, there are a variety of different tools that you may want to use. This is for body weight, but I'm still using tools um, that are incorporated in this. So for example, um, we will be using the equalizer bar today for, for uh, some of our exercises. We will be using bands. And then we're also going to be using a hit system um, in this workout. Okay, so every workout, and again, um, usually when I do this, some people like to go along and do the workout at the same time. So I'm just giving you the tools that you may need to have. Um, even if you don't have them, you'll still be able to do it any regardless. Um, we always got to start off with a warm up. Okay, so we're going to do a nice, simple warm up. You can join along. I'm not going to take too much time with it, but you can join with the warm up. Um, and then we'll get into the actual workout. So nice and easy, I got some music playing, simple music, and we will go. So we'll start off jogging on the spot. Three, two, one. Let's start jogging, everybody. So I like to get my joints and everything warmed up. I don't do anything too intense to start off. I do kind of like a dynamic warm up, but I can't start stretching cold or anything like that. So uh, we'll just go in nice and easy. Each of these will be for 20 seconds. Okay, jumping jacks. Okay, remember there's modifications. Again, if you have any injuries or anything like that, there's always modifications to everything that we do. We got five seconds. Three, two, one. You're gonna go butt kicks, warm up those hamstrings, balls of your feet, you add modification. Anything to get the blood going, heart rate up. Three, two, one. High knees, drive those knees up, or modified pump through, just like that. Good, next, we're gonna go into a squat, nice and easy. And I like to jog in between, keep that movement going. Go as deep as you want, or progress as you're warming up, getting a little bit deeper. Good, we're gonna open up the hips. Big round circles. And let's go in the opposite direction. Bring it over top. Good. Next, let's stretch out the inner thigh. We're just gonna go stretch. You go down as far as you feel comfortable. As you warm up, 
you can go a little bit deeper. Good. Next, leg swing. Three, two, one, switch sides. Good, next we're gonna do walkouts. So bending at the hips, walk yourself out, push up position, come all the way up, reset. If I can get my leg blocked out, so I can feel that stretch in my hamstrings. Good, come all the way up, open up the chest. Good, switch, bring it up. Four, three, we're just about there. We're gonna press to the sky, squeeze, squeeze those shoulder blades back. So press up and squeeze. Press up and squeeze. Let's roll the shoulders, push out and squeeze in. Push out, squeeze in. Okay, last one. We're gonna do rotator cuff. It's here and nice and easy. Go through the motion. Always breathing. We almost there. We almost there. Okay. And stop. All right, good job. Okay. I see we got some new people coming on. Who came on? What's up? What's up? What's up? Again, my name is Donovan. Um, I'm a Libra Fitness Master Trainer. Um, I've been here since the beginning, um, but I'm, I'm kind of old school kind of guy, okay? As you can see, the beard there. Okay, we're gonna start our structuring our body weight workout. Uh, we're gonna split it into four categories. We have our lower body, we have push, we have pull, and then we'll do some um, isolation exercises. Okay, again, this is based on stuff that you can do possibly at a gym, you can do at home. And also keep in mind, as I said it earlier, for those who miss, okay, it's not an exact science, okay? This is just one of the programs that I created. There are thousands of programs that you can create in regards to body weight, but things that you need to be aware of in regards to body weight training is you have to train to fail, failure. You gotta challenge yourself that way. Today, we won't be going to failure. I'll set the timer, but make sure at least your last set is to failure, okay? So I said we start off, we have four, we have lower body, push, pull, and then we have uh, isolation exercise. We'll start off with one of my favorites, okay? Not everybody can do this. It's gonna be a Bulgarian split squat, okay? So if you're at home, you can use your couch or anything like that. Uh, you can use a chair. I'm just using the Reebok bench right here. So alignment wise, okay, let me go from the side. Better view. Okay. All right. So you want to try to get that 90 degree in the leg. So you want to make sure you're stepping out far enough so that as you go down, okay, you're not putting that knee over foot. Now I'm not saying that you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? But as a whole, um, you want to try to maintain that position. Some people can go push a little bit farther. They've they've got that strength in the knee. 
Uh, for most people, if you don't, if you have injuries, you want to try to maintain that 90, okay? And we're going to go straight down and up. I like to do it with a little pop to it, a little bit of a hop to it. So feel free to do the standard motion like this or coming up nice and controlled soft landing. We're going to do 20 seconds, okay, on each side. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. So always land in control or don't even jump at all through drive through the quad you want to squeeze glute at the top you feel that in your hamstrings good i'm going to switch and go right into it right now let's go drive through add my hop to it Do 20 seconds each side. Now, that's for time. With my clients, my boot camp yesterday, they had to do 20 to 25 reps per leg. If you just did it for the 20 seconds, you know what it feels like. My legs are already still sore from that, anyways. All right, so next exercise is going to be hip extension. And we're going to use the leg bar. So, great target the hamstring, glutes, uh, and your core. Okay? So, we start with, okay, on your back, heels on the bar. What I want you to do is I want you to hook it into your shoe right here. Um, some people can do it off the Achilles. I cannot. I have a little bit of Achilles tendonitis, and that hurts like hell, okay? But every shoe has that little hook in it where you can put your feet up on there. So, put you on the ground. So, from here, position. Legs are 90 degrees. I grab onto the bar just for stability. And then what I do is I drive my hips all the way up. I come close to the ground, but I don't touch. Okay, I want you to do 10 to 20, okay? Ready, let's go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, keep going. One, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay? Where are you feeling that? Should be coming across here, okay? In those hamstrings. Should feel a little bit in the glutes. You may feel that tomorrow, okay? So, you want to do. Uh, by the way, the rep range for these, sorry, not the rep range, set range. You're looking into doing two to three sets in the regard. You can pair, I'm gonna give you four exercises. You don't necessarily have to do all four, okay? You can do maybe two exercises as part of your program. Um, and then the next time you train, you can do the other two or so forth. But you wanna get at least uh, three to four sets in there, okay? All right, so we're gonna do a single leg um, I call it single leg butt blaster, single leg hip thruster. Um, very popular. Uh, people who want to really engage their glutes. So I'm going to use the bar so that I like the way my hands feel on the bar. I grab here. Okay. I have my one leg. I'm going to drop my hip and drive through my heels and engage that glute, okay? So from here, drive through. So let's do this for reps. We'll do 10 on one leg, 10 on the other. You can do this off a bench too. Um, sometimes people like prefer doing it lying on their back. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. I keep my leg in because I want the leg of, the weight of my leg right there on the glute. So from here, ready, and push through one, two, three, four, five, six, second, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good. You can do that off the bench. Um, you can actually add weight to it too, right? So don't let me hold you back. If you have a dumbbell that you want to sit there, um, this is a progression going to the next level. Um, but body weight wise, I felt it at 10. You'll feel it at 20. You'll definitely feel it at 30. You see where I'm getting at. You have to take it to failure so that you can really uh, see growth or see change in it. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, one of my favorites now um, is a pistol squat. Now, if you can do a pistol squat, that's great. It's amazing. Uh, I'm 52 years old. Uh, I ain't doing that without support anymore. That's just where I'm at. I still love it, but I need that support. And that's where equalizers come into play. Um, they're perfect for this, okay? They allow me to do a, a pistol squat safely, okay? And if I have any issues not being able to come back up, I can use my upper body to help me out. So, start off the bar, shoulder width. You put that front leg is right by the bar, and this is the leg that's going out. And I'm gonna sit back, hinge at the hips, and I come to the top, okay? Now, what I like to do is as I reach the top, I take my hands off the bar. And the reason why I do that is to take away the work from the arms, the triceps, shoulders. I don't want, that's not, it's not an upper body exercise I'm doing right now. I'm doing lower body. So from here, you get it out there. We're gonna do 10 of these out, ready? And one, hands come off the top. Two, three, Push through the heels. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. I'm gonna switch legs. Keep the side profile so you see what I'm talking about. Okay, ten reps. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Four, push through the heels. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Woo. Very targeted. If you can do it without the bar, and that's what you should be doing. All right, so excellent. So four simple exercises there. You wanna do them to failure. You can do two, three, all four in a session. It's up to you. But I picked those four specifically because uh, we're gonna get some quad action. We're gonna go get some hamstring and glute work all the way through it, okay? All right, next, we're gonna move on to our pull exercises. Um, we only have three of those that we're going to do. The first one is the inverted row using the equalizer bar. So this is what this bar was invented for. Just a little history. Um, I, Mark and I grew up, um, we started training people in the uh, corporate training in our, uh, in our early 20s. Like I think I was 21 when I, when I met Mark. And always been very inventive, always been very creative. And he was trying to figure out a way to work clients back from home. So when we were going to train people in their homes, that's the one thing we couldn't get people to do uh, is to engage that back. You can hook it on a bar on a wall and things like that, but most people can't even do that. So this where this idea came up, he invented it from there. And now it's a phenom phenomenon where everybody in the world is trying to copy it. But he was the first, okay? Um, so 
our inverted row, I'm gonna use a two bar. I feel most comfortable that way. Um, you wanna get the position where you have a triangle, okay? Reason why that feels so comfortable is because that's a natural position. If you notice, it's triangle, even when you're doing a push up, that's where your hands are in line with your chest and it creates that triangle that goes up in that position, okay? So the same thing applies when you're doing an inverted row. So let's go there, we're gonna do 10 of these. So usually I go with the XLs for the double XL because I'm 6'2", um, but they're over there, I don't feel like getting them. So we'll stay with the little ones and hips up and pull one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Good job. Feel free to continue to do 20, 30, whatever you think you can handle. Your first set, you might be able to do 20. And then as you go, I'll drop down to 15 to 10, and so forth. And that's again taking you to failure. Um, we can do a single bar, same thing. A single bar. You just get under, you grip like this, and pull yourself up to the bar to your chest, okay? All right, so inverted row. I mentioned the, the hip system here, okay? So you can hook this onto your door. Um, it's a nice option in regards to doing um, uh, a, a different type of row and hitting you in a different type of angle. Okay, so from here, we use these on a daily basis here at the Nation. We put them up high, we put them up low. If you have it at your, your home, you can do the same thing. Under the door or at the top, uh, we're going to do uh, uh, another row. Uh, the same type of row, but at a different angle. So I'm going to get myself down to the wall. Okay, and we're going to pull one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All right. Uh, this, what I like about this is that when you're doing suspension training, a lot of times, especially with the other products, they don't move. But the zip system. Okay, you have this isolateral movement that comes along with it, okay? Based on this, this friction ring here, allows it to slide through back and forth. So uh, it allows me to do, uh, isolate my row, okay? At the same time, so I can be in a position here now where I can do unilateral movement, Engaging my back. Ouch. Okay. It's a good one. Okay. So if you don't have a hip system, make sure you get it into your repertoire. Um, okay. So moving on for your back and full movement. We got bands. Okay. And we're going to do a bend over row. So we have different tensions. You can decide whichever one works best for you. Uh, feet in. Okay. I like to cross it over to give a little more tension. If I need a lot more tension, I can get the black ones. Uh, they've got the most tension. Right position here. Okay. And I'm gonna pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, good. So imagine you're on the ground doing your inverted row using equalizer. You jump up, do a superset using the bands. Your back is fried. I mean, in that you can engage your rear delts. I already feel that pump in my biceps. Everything is feeling it. Okay, so that's going to be part of your pull movement. Uh, next, we're going to move on to our push exercises. And the first one is going to be a push-up standard. Um, you got different options in regards to the uh, 
You got the upright one, okay, out the ground. I want to make sure my body's nice and straight. Okay, I'm grabbing the bars at the edge here. They're curved, so it feels very comfortable in the hand. Now, we have hardwood floors here. So, um, we use this as cues um, in regards to when we're teaching our classes. If you're doing it wrong, okay, if you're not using having your body weight, your arms pushing straight down and your body weight over the bars, what ends up happening is that what will happen, okay? And that reminds you very quickly that you're not doing it right, okay? So, making sure that I'm going straight down, I like to get a nice little stretch, go below, below 90, and come up and squeeze. Again, I'll go straight here, okay? From here, I go straight down, below 90, squeeze. Now, what's cool about this is that I can adjust with the angles, okay, to get that. If I want to get a wider, maybe I'm a, a broader shoulders, I need a, a wider stance. I can end there and do my wide grip push up. That's why the bars are not connected together. Um, a lot of these bars have that connection, but no, it limits uh, the variety. If I want to do push up like this, I can. I can do whatever I want. It allows that versatility. Okay, let's go. We're gonna do 10. Usually at this angle, I make people do about 25 reps just so you have an idea. So let's go. One, two, chest out. Three, squeeze the chest to the top. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So if you, go, you can do about 20 reps or do whatever it is you can. By the time you come around to your third set, trust me, okay? You are working to failure at this point, no question about it. You can do push-ups from the ground. They're gonna be harder, obviously, but don't scoff at these incline slash decline push-ups, depending on how you look at it. Come back for your second, third set. That's all I have to say. All right, okay, so next, we're gonna work a little bit of shoulders um, with our pike push-up. Um, it's not the easiest one to do. I'm gonna show you modifications for it. Uh, so, pike push-up feels very comfortable on the bar. You can have your butt up in the air, and you're doing, is pretty much a body weight uh, shoulder press. So from here, I call this a you tuck your shirt in exercise, especially in class. So you tuck your shirt in here so your shirt doesn't come off in front of everybody in class. <laughs> All right. So, pike push up, butt in the air. Okay. You go straight down and you push yourself up. Now, not everybody can go all the way down. It's not the point. Okay. Even if you make little small movements, um, all you're doing is you're building your joints. You're building the muscles, they're getting stronger. And as you progress, you're gonna be able to go lower and lower and lower. It's the form that's the most important part of it, right? So from a position here, so even if you are just doing that, it'll eventually bring you down here. 10 reps, let's go. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, feel that pump in there, feeling good. All right, pike push-ups. You don't have to do this. When I talk about creating a body weight workout, yes, you know what? Uh, not everybody can do all the body weight exercises. So instead of that, they might do, they have some dumbbells at home, you can do a shoulder press. You can do whatever that works, you can use your bands, whatever works for you, okay? Always remember that, there's always options, all right? Uh, and then the last one we have is we're going to do a bench dip. Uh, I'm gonna use the bars for this, um, but um, I'll show you the different, different options for you. So. A 
tricep dip, you can do it off the bench, you can do it off your, uh, your ottoman bed, whatever it is you want to work with. Position here, okay, straight arms, uh, legs out is what challenges you the most. As you fatigue, bring those legs in so you have the legs to spot you. So from here, moving straight down, pushing through. The focus with this movement is primarily triceps and shoulders. Always want to have core engaged. Some of you prefer to do standard dip, so body weight dip. So feel free to kick those out. You're getting a lot of chest in there. It's not as much strictly on your triceps, so you get chest involvement. Keep in mind, that is challenging for a lot of people. So that may not be where you want to start, especially if you're not at that, because this program is pretty much for beginners. Uh, but here's a modification for that. From back here, okay, I bend forward, so I'm doing my dip, but my legs are helping me come back up. And even if I want to get even more into my modification, I can get that leg in there and they're helping you like that, okay? So let's start off. I'm just gonna do the modified version for 10. Ready, let's go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, booyah. Ouch. That's just 10 reps. You can tell I'm already pumped up a little bit, feeling good about it. All right, so imagine how you feel after your third and fourth set, okay? So those are your push exercises, okay? And I'll walk you through real quickly um, the first three that we talked about. So we did our leg exercises. Um, we had our Bulgarian split squat. Remember, you can do it, add a little hop to it. You can even add weights to it if you want to challenge yourself that way. Uh, then we were on our back, feet on the bar. Uh, we did the hip extensions, which was targeting your hamstrings and your glutes. And then we have the single leg butt blasters, okay? Um, it's hip thrust, okay? Which really focuses on the glute. Uh, and then we had the last one, uh, which is your pistol squat using the equalizer bars for support, which really places a lot, a lot of emphasis on your quad. Uh, then we moved on to our pull exercises, inverted row, uh, using the equalizer bar with a variety of grips. Um, and then we did use the hip system where we did unilateral rows with it, and we also did an inverted row at a slightly different angle. Uh, and then we used our bands um, for rows. Um, there's uh, hundreds of different exercises I could show you, but that's not what it's about today. Um, and then we had our push-ups uh, for the equalizer. Um, we did an incline one. Um, you can also do them from the ground, uh, and you can also change the angle depending on uh, what you want, whether you want to work with chest a little wider, or if you want to go more focused on your triceps, or just based on your girth. Uh, and then we did a pike push-up, which is probably one of the harder exercises that we had to do today, but up in the air, um, it's a, a body weight version of a shoulder press, um, but you can, I told you about the options in regards to that. And then we had our last one, which was the bench dip. Um, I said you can use them, go off a bench or your chair. We used the equalizers and I showed you the different modifications for that. And then the last one we to add into your workout is some isolation exercises, okay? Again, these are beginner workouts. Um, the isolation exercises are based on just trying to target every muscle group. Um, and a lot of people like to work um, the guns, right? The biceps. So we're gonna use the bands for that. Simple. Now, our bands are a good substitute for free weights. Um, some people will swear by bands and say they get just as good of a workout using bands. I agree you can get just as good as a, of a workout, but I'm all about tools and variation, okay? 
And remember what I said earlier, but there's not one way to train. Okay, so I can't ever say yes, dumbbells are the only way to get go or machines or whatever. No, change things up, get the best results. Okay, so with these, we're gonna do a bicep curl using the bands and I can increase my tension by holding this lower or standing wider on it or getting a band that has a higher tension. Okay, let's go bicep curls and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Okay? So simple, simple bicep curls. Um, feel free to use dumbbells or whatever you have, okay? But Bands, what I like about the bands is the versatility of, of it. I can take them anywhere, okay? Go to the park with it, I'm on vacation, goes into my suitcase, perfect. Um, you can do the workouts anywhere and there's, there's hundreds of things you can do with bands. So don't hate on the bands, take them with you, okay? There's lots of stuff you can do with it. Um, okay, uh, next, uh, a simple movement, especially for somebody beginner, um, we're going to do, talk about some calf raises, okay? Um, a lot of times people ignore the calves. Um, very important to use them on a, a daily basis. Um, they help keep you moving, so you might as well get them nice and strong, okay? And especially if you want to increase uh, their size, you have to make sure you condition them. You got to train them, okay? So simple calf raises you can do is from the floor, okay? You can go up, okay? You can do single leg through okay um, I like to get a little bit of a deeper stretch a lot of times I just use neutralizer okay so I stand on the legs so I can get a little bit of a deeper stretch so I go up and further down or if you have a step that you can be off of so we're gonna do that we're gonna do 10 reps of these ready let's kick it out so one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay. So calf raises are in there. Okay. Again, isolation exercises. We're going to do a um, skull crusher or a tricep extension. Um, there's a lot of muscles being engaged in the skull crusher, but because it puts such an emphasis on the triceps, I tend to see it more of, a, of an isolation exercise than anything else. Uh, sorry, give me a sec. I got old man knees, so when I go down, I need to have something there. <laughs> All right, so from here, one of my favorite exercises. Every time you see me once a month, I will always have this one in there, okay? Equalizer, um, tricep extension, otherwise known as skull pressures. So core nice and tight, okay? You come forehead to the bar and push through, okay? So let's see, let's kick these out. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Usually, I have you do at least 20 reps of this, okay? By the second set, you're struggling for, through the first 10 reps. You may not even make it to 20. Last set, forget about it. Now, it engages your core, but it really, really hits your triceps hard. So for beginners, heads up. If you are sore the next day, and the next day, and the next day, okay, your body was shocked by that movement. Don't fear it. It's very intense. It isolates those triceps very specifically. So you get, you really feel it. 
that way. That's why it's one of my favorite tricep exercises because I don't always feel it in the tricep, but I always feel it when I do this exercise. Uh, okay. Uh, next, to add to your workout, it's going to do two simple core exercises. I'm actually not going to do them, um, but I'm just going to tell you. So the first one is doing the plank. Uh, there's a variety of different forms of plank that you can do. Um, the more you change it up, the better, okay? But you have your standard plank. So, position here, okay? You try not to have your hands here, have them out separate, okay? Abs nice and tight. You lock in the core, okay? So, you either have straight or you have a slight curve. You hold in that position, engaging your core. Uh, you may want to add a twist to it or an oblique crunch to it. Uh, right now, at the gym, we do our yearly plank challenge. And you may want to try it on your own where we went from January where we're working on a minute. In February, it's all about the two minutes. March, three minutes, all the way till we get to April where you do a four minute plank. Uh, uh, we're a huge fan of that. There's always people who go 10 minutes, 12 minutes, which is great. If you've never done it before, if you have a weak core or anything like that, try working your way up to four minutes, okay? And let me know how you feel after that, okay? I guarantee you, if you had back problems or anything like that, I'm not talking about uh, problems that are caused from some sort of injury. I'm saying uh, we're just solely basing it on weakness. Um, guarantee you major improvement through that. Okay, um, and the last one is bicycles. Lying on your back. The bicycle crunches, and you want to take that elbow, touch the knee, or at least try to touch the knee. You want to extend that leg out as far as you feel comfortable. Okay, always breathing, exhaling as you crunch in. Okay. So those were simple isolation exercises. We went through your um, bicep curl, we did your skull pressures, we did your plank, and we did your bicycles, okay? And that covers how to structure a body weight workout. Uh, again, a simplistic view, okay? Um, but you can plug in your exercises wherever you want in there. And, uh, and, and there we go, that's how that's how we roll, okay? Um, do we have any questions, anybody? Let's see if I can get anybody questions. Okay. Karen, you're welcome. Questions. Okay, Meg, you do have a question? What's your question? I don't know if this works, it's live. We'll wait to see if Meg has any questions. Okay, anybody else have any questions here? First time here, I enjoyed this. Your pace was good for me. Old timer, ha <laughs> ha, it's all good, man, it's all good. I'm an old timer too. <laughs> so, that's Steven, right? Nice, nice. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, you know, I've been through, I've been in this industry for a very long time, um, and the ups and downs of it. Um, but the one thing that uh, I stay true to is just being active, um, uh, no matter what. So it's like 25 years of this. Um, let's see. <clears throat> I like the tricep exercise you showed. <clears throat> Seems it was a smaller set. I'm five, 198 pounds. Use 
uh, is you said you used smaller than the yellow? Um, nope, that is the, uh, sorry, it's here, Meg, okay. Um, nope, so this was the black one, um, same size as the uh, uh, yellow equalizers. Um, I'll give you an idea. So you get an idea. Okay, so there. There, so you see the size differences in there. Okay, so the original, but in black, and then we have the the XL, and then these are the double XLs. Okay, so you can see that difference there. You're welcome. Okay. So is it Sanyi? Did it pronounce it? Yeah. Um, great class. Thank you so much. Love the van option too. Um, yes, if you want more options, just please feel free to go to the Face uh, Libre Fitness Nation uh, uh, Wellness Group uh, chat group on Facebook. You can get tons of exercises there. Um, you can go to Libra Fitness um, for that. Uh, tons of options. There's videos on bands, on the equalizers, on the the hit system, on the uh, what's it called? The, uh, the the small bars. I can't remember for for some reason. Um, and then we have the resistance bar, the new resistance bar. That uh, one week I'll be taking you guys through that. Um, so tons of information there. And even better, uh, oftentimes, if you want to personally reach out to me, you can. Um, Donovan Prendergast, uh, you can go to uh, our gym, uh, Libre Fitness Nation. Um, you can find me there or on Instagram or on Facebook. That's where I'm at. Um, and I can answer all your questions. Okay. Uh, okay. I like the small staff like screws into the... Oh, sorry. I also have a full set of Black Mountain straps. Can I use them? I don't know what Black Mountain straps are. Okay. So these you're talking about? The hit system? Um, let's see. Okay, yes, okay. So, so when you get a hit system, um, it comes with a strap that um, hooks, that can hook into your door, okay? So it can hook at the top and hook at the bottom. And it also comes with a Velcro strap that allows you to hook it to anything. So you can hook it to a tree, to a pole, wherever, take it wherever you want. Um, um, the, the, the Velcro strap is super strong. So, you know, you could probably hang five people off of it. So um, don't have to worry about it slipping or anything like that. So that's how, that's what we got for that. But it comes with the hit system, okay? Yes, so you're talking about the band, exactly. The hit system band with the handles. So that's exactly it. So, okay. All right. Okay, so uh, Kishore asked about, can we get the recording for of this session, yes. Um, it, since you signed up for this, it will be automatically sent to you. Um, this recording, um, I think it probably be on Monday, it will be sent out or something like that, but everybody gets this recording. Okay, so good question. Okay, all right. All right, I think that's it. Okay. All right, so let me see if I can catch everybody who's still on. So, uh, thank you, Sabrina, Brandon, Catalina, Sherilyn. Um, how do we get? OK, 
Okay, Alvin, Kishore, Meg, Richard. Okay, yep, you guys are killing it. Okay, thank you for participating today. Okay, I really appreciate it. Uh, be here next month, if you like, with something new. Okay, good job, everybody. Aha. Last question, where can I find the last month's uh, class? Um, you can reach out to Libra Fitness or reach out to me, Meg, and I will get that for you, okay? Because I can actually, I think we still have it recorded. I can send that out to you, okay? So I don't know if you got that, okay? You're welcome. You were in it, you said? <laughs> Last time, okay, cool. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody, okay, thank you. Peace out from Canada. <laughs>